I've not seen such bravery. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a game that needs no introduction. If you were a kid back in 1997 with a computer at home, I'm willing to bet that you remember a little game called Lego Island. Who am I trying to kid by calling this game little? It was huge. The game sold over 7 million copies, and it was among the best-selling PC games of its release month. Oh my goodness, that is so satisfying. You know, I don't tell anybody All right, um, but here's what you there should definitely be someone here talking to me. Where the hell are all the people on this island? Something is seriously wrong with the graphics. People are appearing and disappearing, and some buildings aren't even loading. As it turns out, some older computer games have issues when running on current machinery. You'd think that as technology advanced, it would be easier to play games of the past. Oh wait! After multiple hours of looking for a solution, and countless attempts at fixing it, I finally got the game working. Now this is the Lego Island I remember. When I was little, most of the computer games I played were educational point-and-click adventure games like Pajama Sam, Putt-Putt, and Freddy Fish. I'm not really sure what I learned from these games, but damn did I love them. As far as the point-and-click adventure games went, there was no real sense of free movement. Lego Island was different though, and it gave us an entire island to explore. So there's not really a storyline in Lego Island. Not initially, anyway. There's a choice of five characters to play as, and this crazy old fuck basically just tells us to go explore the island. Fair enough. I went ahead and chose Pepper, because I already know that he's the only character you can access the full game with. The first thing I noticed, right off the bat, are the controls. Lego Island and Chantelise are on the same wavelength when it comes to controls, in that movement is achieved with the arrow keys. This time, though, it's excusable, because Lego Island is intended for a younger audience, and pressing arrow keys to move is easier to explain than having them to remember to use W, A, S, and D. That's because kids are stupid. Do you have a kid? I bet they're stupid. The problem comes in the sensitivity of the buttons. Moving forward and backwards is easy enough, but the left and right arrows are incredibly sensitive, so I have to carefully tap the buttons to make a turn, but even then it's kind of hard to control. This became increasingly apparent when I started my first event. After building an attractive speedboat, I entered a jet ski race. Oh, okay, how do I- Oh shit, what the fu what the fuck is going on? This lady, what is wrong with her? Oh my god, is that a ghost shark? What? I, I, what? 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 Water pyramids? I can't steer straight. I think I just ran over some lady on a ramp. Shit. 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 Woo! Follow me! Okay. Ah, shit. 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 This seizure jet ski lady is seriously freaking me out. Oh, apparently that was the jet ski champion. I mean, I guess that makes me feel better about losing to her. So the island itself acts as a kind of overworld between events. Now this seems like a good time to bring up the incredibly strange layout of this island. There's the lifeguard post, which we just had a nice visit to. The other major places to visit are the pizzeria, racetrack, gas station, hospital, and police station. There are two things that really bug me about this island, and I'll give you a few seconds to try and figure out what they- There are only three houses! Where does everyone live? There are like 11 places where people have to work, but only three houses? That just doesn't make any sense. They built a bank in the middle of the road. Terribly sorry. Yeah. But the store is closed yeah. for remodeling. Mm -hmm. You could help us mm -hmm. decide okay. though. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Click on the Click store. on the store. Okay. Well that was pointless. You can't even remodel the store like she says you can. And I'm pretty sure it never actually opens. You lying whore! At the racetrack, you can build a car and get entered into a much less terrifying race than the one on the jet skis. It's still somewhat hard to steer because of the sensitive controls, but it's arguably the best looking and most fun part of the game. Not to mention, a direct injection of pure nostalgia. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like my skills at the game have improved at all over the years. After my race, I took some time to explore the island. It's kinda cool that you can come across people wandering around the island as well, so it actually seems like it's populated. While exploring, I came across a little cave with a door that refused to open. There was a pirate sounding voice on the other side, and it clued me in on a different way to move around. By pressing shift, you enter the easy to drive mode, where moving the mouse up moves you forward, and moving it left to right turns you side to side. It's still a little sensitive, but it ends up working out a lot better than just using the arrow buttons. Oh no, there's been a crash at the racetrack. 
Looks like they're sending Pepper to drive over and pick up the car. Did I mention he can't even read? Why is it that anytime I'm just cruising around the island, there's hardly anyone out here? But when I'm trying to get to a wreck at the racetrack, there are trees in the road, people doing bike tricks, an ambulance dropping shit on the road, and whatever is going on here. Maybe it's some kind of protest against letting illiterate children drive tow trucks. Forget tow trucks, now the hospital is letting me drive the ambulance! The only person that acknowledges my age here is the Brickster, and that's just because he's being an asshole and making fun of me for not being able to read. Now I'm trying to decide what I think is more ridiculous. That a hospital would allow a child to drive their ambulance during a time of emergency, or that this island has a hospital in the first place. I'm actually gonna go with the fact that there's a hospital here. I mean, I regularly see people fall apart right in front of me and miraculously come back together. So I just can't imagine what someone would need to go to a hospital for. It turns out that someone is choking at the pizzeria. I guess I believe that. I mean, it is the only place to eat on the island, so it makes sense that someone would choke on a- Shark the fuck? He was choking on a goddamn shark. Not only that, but the shark flies away. The dog is choking on a cat, and the cat is choking on a bird. But once this guy saves the cat, he doesn't just set it down or pet it or something. No, 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 he tosses it like a fucking javelin thrower in the goddamn Olympics. This island is nuts, man. Well, so far I've just been wandering around and doing little mini-games that you can replay at any time to try and get better scores on your score cube. But now it's time to tackle the only narrative in the game. Now there's a couple of things that have to be present in order for this to happen. First off, you have to be playing as dude with the food. And I already am. Secondly, you have to have gone to the police station and built the helicopter. Otherwise, you can't access the story. This was actually really cool, because after playing it for a while, there's really no anticipation for a storyline. So when it happens, it ends up being a pleasant surprise. So once the qualifications have been met, we go to the pizzeria and go on a delivery to the jail. Uh, yeah. Papa's famous jalapeno, red pepper, anchovy, double garlic pizza. The strongest pizza on the island. You see, I just put this baby near the lock and let the fumes do their work. Hmm, I'm out of here. Okay, so this pizza is hot enough to literally melt a lock off a jail cell, but Pepper can hold on to it with his bare hand. So either the jail was very poorly constructed, I mean this whole area seems like a pretty bad idea to me, or Pepper's hand is made out of obsidian. So the Brickster gets out of jail and says that he's going to take apart this town brick by brick. Brick by brick. <laughs> brick by brick. Then he escapes in the stylish helicopter I designed and takes the power brick from atop the information center. You see, that's where the power comes from. The power to, uh... The power to the Lego power. Don't worry though, even though I just released the only criminal on Lego Island, the police are basically like, lol, it's all good. So we need someone to race over there. Someone who could use a vehicle that can travel on roads and paths, over ramps, and in a jiffy. Oh, you mean a motorcycle. A skateboard, perhaps. What? There are two people on motorcycles, right there. But no, the general consensus is that a skateboard would be a much, much better idea. Everyone here? Idiots. So I go to the other side of the island and encounter the Brickster. He's stolen the ambulance now and is using the power brick and a gun to shrink all the buildings down on the island. That's about a three on the evil meter for me, right in between tying someone's shoelaces together and doing that thing with the fingers in the water and pee. Yeah, that, that thing, what's it called? Pea fingers? As he drives, he drops pieces of the helicopter out the back, which for some reason he disassembled and stuck in the ambulance with him. Oh, and also he delivers some great one-liners. Whoa, I'm shaking my bricks now. Ha, huh. once that's over with, the Brickster runs off and hides in that cave there. Instead of just going in and catching him, I have to go around and find four more pieces of the helicopter, each of which makes this sound. <laughs> Yeah, that's not annoying at all. After all the pieces are collected, we reassemble the helicopter and get to work. The Brickster is driving around and shrinking buildings, and the cops are wandering around the island trying to get him. Our job is to feed the cops donuts to speed them up, and to feed the Brickster pizza to slow him down. It looks like one of the cops got stuck in a donut. That's... logical. For some reason, the Brickster decides it's a good idea to go right to her, though, and gets himself caught. I guess this game is just made to teach kids that everyone is a fucking idiot. The entire island population then proceeds to celebrate Pepper's achievement. Oh, uh, I have a few. <clears throat> uh, and on behalf of the entire island, I wish to congratulate your name here. Oh, oh no, I, I'm sorry. Let's see. Oh, never mind the speech. Let the.
Thank you.